Imagine having a perfect memory of the most significant accomplishments you have accomplished in your life, but for some reason you are having trouble remembering what you had for breakfast this morning. This dread is becoming a reality for famous individuals that we have liked for a long time, such as Wendy Williams and Bruce Willis. Cognitive disorders, which are sometimes cloaked in mystery and disinformation, are suddenly bringing these superstars and their battles into the spotlight, displaying a vulnerable aspect that we rarely connect with stardom. This investigation into their individual experiences with cognitive impairment, in conjunction with the ripples that it sends across the legal and healthcare frameworks, aims to shed light not just on their challenges, but also on the broader consequences for how society deals with mental health and the aging process. There is a common thread that runs across the disturbing revelations that have surrounded Wendy Williams and Bruce Willis, and that is the progressive nature of their cognitive deficits. When it comes to celebrities, whose jobs frequently depend on how the public perceives them and how well they perform, the earliest symptoms, such as issues with speech, can be a scary turnaround in the situation. The strange memory loss that Williams experienced and the diagnosis that Willis received shed light on the frequently invisible onset of such diseases, which has sparked a discourse all across the world about the long-term repercussions of these diseases and the critical need for understanding and empathy between people. The event of Wendy fainting on live television in 2017 served as a scary prelude to a series of health issues that were later revealed. Despite the fact that the connection between her fainting and the dementia that she was subsequently diagnosed with is still a matter of conjecture, the interaction between her known thyroid problems and the potential neurological implications presents a complicated picture of her health journey. The case of Williams, who is currently residing in a health facility, not only sheds light on the personal cost of cognitive illnesses, but it also exposes the darker undertones of trust and exploitation that may grow around celebrities who are fragile. The guardianship disputes that have surrounded celebrities such as Wendy Williams have drawn unsettling comparisons with the conservatorship scenario that Britney Spears has been going through. The legal vocabulary, which includes guardianship and conservatorship, conceals a more profound narrative about autonomy, dignity, and the possibility of misuse. These legal arrangements, which are intended to protect, can sometimes become instruments of control and exploitation, which has sparked a public debate that concerns the balance between protecting the rights of persons who are impacted by cognitive impairments and suffocating those rights. In tandem with the expansion of our knowledge regarding cognitive problems, we are also becoming more aware of the limitations that already exist. The experiences of famous people who have struggled with these ailments highlight the critical need for further research, improved treatments, and finally, a cure. On the other hand, beyond the search for scientific knowledge lies a need for compassion, support, and a shift in the way that society views aging and mental health itself. It is possible that openly celebrating the bravery of those who are battling cognitive disorders, such as Williams and Willis, could pave the way for a future in which these fights that are fought in silence receive the attention and resources that they critically require. A complicated network of medical, legal, and societal difficulties is revealed when one travels through the lives of celebrities who are going through the process of battling cognitive illnesses. The fragility of our own minds is brought to our attention, as is the significance of cultivating an atmosphere in which mental health is emphasized and stigmatized not only for the wealthy and famous, but for everyone.